What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Twisted Life and TV. I am Poetry. You are here for Poetry's news and Twisted Views. Today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to veer a little bit away from actually TV news today. But everything that I'm talking about is stuff that is being shown on your TV, in the news or what have you. Um, my notes are all over the place, y'all. They all over the place. So hopefully I can get into this. I'm going to start off first with a rest in peace. Y'all know I'm from St. Louis. I still rep the Lou, even though I left the Lou. Um, and one of St. Louis's most loved rappers, Huey, was shot and killed late Thursday, early Friday morning. It was after midnight, so technically Friday morning. In Kenlock, Missouri, he was shot and killed um, at the age of 32. Um, for those of you who may not just know Huey by the name, y'all may know him by the song Pop, Lock, and Drop It. Pop, Lock, and Drop It. Pop, yes. Huey has got killed. And I don't know, I was talking to Kena about this um, during the, the, the curfews or the shutdowns. I did not recall hearing these high numbers of murders going on in cities like St. Louis and Chicago and Detroit. I didn't hear these high numbers. And as soon as everybody was let back on the street, the the, the, the numbers start popping back up again. Now, I'm not just talking about deaths within our communities itself. I'm talking about the police shootings as well. Those weren't happening at all either. And then as soon as the curfews and everything left it, Everybody said, well, let's get back to killing. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what can possibly be done to curb all these deaths within the community, within the police department. I mean, you say take away the guns, you know, limit the guns or put more gun regulations. You got to get the, the guns that's out there regulated the ones that, the ones the people already own you know they looking at <laughs> you know regulating new purchases that's the only thing I hear people talk about when they say these new purchases they hear regulate new purchases but what about the ones who already own tons and tons of guns I know people that live by their damn self and got 30 plus guns you only got two hands how many guns do you need um it, that, that needs to be some type of gun regulation some type of gun regulation including within our police department they don't need no damn military style fucking weapons they ain't the military they don't need tanks and shit like that That's they not the military so, so take them back to the 16 shooter you know take them back to the 16 shooter or fuck the pistol when it was 7 shots or was it 6 shots I think it was 7 because it's always 6 Six in the barrel, one in the chamber. Take them back to that. If, if you and your partner ain't able to hit a motherfucker with one of them six shots, then you need to be retrained. And y'all motherfuckers ain't supposed to be shooting to kill anyway. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so... I, I didn't read the entire story about what happened to Huey because I couldn't. I, I didn't want to hear the details. I told y'all... I. I listen to all these situations with people getting gunned down for whatever reason people dying or at the hands of another person for whatever reason being hung I can't read I can't soak all that shit in on a mental level because I know it's it's reality I can watch it doing fiction I talked about this before but when, when, I, when there's something that's a true story happening I just can't do it they're supposed to be uh, investigating the Breonna Taylor case. I think I mentioned that before. They're supposed to be reopening that case. The young lady who was killed in the backyard of a sleepover, you know, it w in 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 bad te in bad text, woke up dead. They finna reopen her case now to find out why the fuck she ended up dead. Um, Kevin Johnson's story: the young teenage boy whose body was found rolled up in a mat with all his organs missing. And the two white teens that got let off for that murder, who, who they, they said did it, 
but they didn't get nothing charged. They finna reopen that shit again too. All these cases are being reopened and resurfaced, and I'm so happy that the wheels of justice are starting to change. The climate is starting to change. Like I said, a lot of it, I believe, is pandering. They trying to pacify us as black people to shut us the fuck up, get us to calm the hell down. We gonna give them this little bit, give them this little inch right there, and see how that do. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. All right, we gonna give it a little bit more. That didn't work. That didn't work. Oh, we gonna give it a little bit more. We not backing down this time. It, it, that's what it seems. I'm so proud of my people. I'm so proud of my people. And I, I, I told you, I'm one person. I don't use the term people of color when I'm addressing me and my people. I'm a black woman. I know there's a lot of black people in America who don't like to be called black people. Y'all want to be called African Americans. I call myself both. I'm a black person from America. That's how I see it. There's black people that live in Britain. There's black people in Africa. There's black people in China. There's black people in Sweden. There's black people in Russia. There's black people in Australia. There's black people all over. We have different cultural backgrounds or different cultural identities. You know, but we're still black people in my eyes. So, um, and I think using the term people of color is to desensitize saying the word black. Even the Webster's Miriam Dictionary has now capitalized black. <laughs> Just like how Italian is capitalized and being French is capitalized. Be us being black people is now capitalized. I, you know, sometimes it's a small thing. Sometimes it's a small thing. It's statues coming down all over, you know. I, for one, and I may be, um, the minority on this. I got somebody rolling the fuck up on me. I may be the minority on this. I think all these Confederate statues of these Confederate slave masters and stuff like that, I think that they should come down out of public spaces. However, I do not think they should come out of museums. Um, but I do think that they should be categorized in a museum for what the fuck they are. And the reason being is that I'm not one to want to completely erase history. I know that although it's a very painful history, I don't know, I don't want to want to re, re, re erase it completely. I think there need to be some tell tell signs and photographs on Facebook and Instagram ain't gonna do it. Um and I know somebody made the argument before about the Berlin Wall, how they tore that down and uh, you know and it's a paper reminder. I know people who still holding on to pieces of the rock just as a reminder of that it was there. Um, I mean, we're going to never forget. We, us living now, we may never forget. But just like my great-grandmother didn't pass on a lot of stories from her days when she came up in the uh, on the tail end of slavery and the sharecropping and the civil rights movement because it was too much pain for them to want to speak on that. I didn't get all that passed to me. So there's a lot of my history I don't know. My history here in, in America that I don't know because people didn't want to talk about it. They wanted to forget about it. They wanted to erase it. And now here we are repeating some of the same shit over and over again. We still going through it. Actually, we just ain't repeating it. It ain't never ended. <laughs> but a lot of people are, are clueless or brainless or just ignorant to the fact that it even happened because the history is no longer there or the history is not being told so i'm for one that i, I agree remove this shit from the damn public view stick it in the fucking museum put it in a museum and label it what the fuck it is these are racist ass bastards who enslaved human beings and was celebrated for what reason i don't know because the fucking confederacy lost but that's another whole thing that ain't all oh, that ain't even on my notes let me get to my notes okay so on the height of uh black lives matter since i'm talking about that Okay, back in, I'm, I'm going back to my home state, Missouri. Back in Branson, Missouri, there was this lady who had uh, a store with all this Confederate stuff, right? Okay, and she decided that she wasn't going to take down her stuff because she didn't see it as a symbol of racism. It was a symbol of her history, okay? So, there was a viral video that was out there of her saying how much she celebrated the KKK and... She's waving a flag around, uh, saying a lot of racial slurs and stuff like that. She says, my bad, I must have blacked out, y'all. I didn't know what I was thinking. I didn't mean any of that. 
I didn't mean any of that. These apologies that these motherfuckers giving, I can't. I can't take them. I couldn't take them then. I ain't take them now. These apologies. Y'all can kiss my ass and sit on this spin with y'all motherfucking apologies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With y'all apologies. Um, We at the day and age. We, uh, there's some attractive men out here. We at the day and age where people, we, we've said this before. Don't let your president get you fucked up. Because the, the, the fucking dumb Donald has opened the doors, opened the floodgates for all this hate and racism to be acceptable with his uh, support and we attach that to him because of the words the vitriol that comes out of his mouth and we've been saying as black people don't let your president get you fucked up and now, now today there's been so many videos just like within the past couple weeks of Caucasian racist Caucasians. I'm going to put it that way because everybody ain't racist. Racist Caucasians calling them black people niggas. And I'm going to say it, niggas. And I ain't going to say the N-word. I'm one of the people that don't want to say the N-word either. I, nigga. That's call it what it is. I'm one of them people who um, so the people, are, are, these white people are in an argument or whatever. Um, most cases has been arguments. Um, and they've they spit spit out the word nigga to the person. And then the person says, say it again. Say it one more time. If you hear somebody say it, say it again. They ready in for your ass. I'm just letting you know that right now. They ready for your ass. They say it again. Usually with some little fear and trepidation in them, but they say it again. And they get molly whopped. Molly whopped. I don't like to watch fight videos. I've been watching all these motherfuckers and applauding. Starting with the lady that was on the American Airlines plane. <laughs> down to the last one that was in the doggone beauty supply. And somebody called her a nigga. You gonna get fucked up these days. You gonna get fucked up. Um, so, not necessarily saying this is nigga dumb. Um, with all these changes that are coming out. They're changing the Aunt Jemima picture on the pancake syrup. They changing Uncle Ben. Um, a lot of things are changing. Disney... It's changing Splash Mountain to be Princess and the Frog. I guess to honor the one black princess that they do have. Um, some other things are changing. TV shows are changing. Um, what's her name? Jenny Slate, who plays Missy on Big Mouth. It comes on Netflix. She play, uh, Missy is a biracial character on there. Kristen Bell, who plays Molly on Central Park who's also a biracial character. Mike Henry, who plays Cleveland on Family Guy and the Cleveland Show. All quit. They're voiceovers. This is an animated show. They're all voiceovers. And Mike Henry has also played uh, Consuela, Hispanic character. He's played a lot of different characters um, of, different, of color. And they've all quit because they said it is wrong for them to take on roles that people of color and this one I'm going to use the umbrella people of color because they're talking, speaking about um, Indian characters, Asian characters uh, Latino characters, black characters it's wrong for them as a white person to take on these roles when there's actual black people or people of color who could fill these roles we are up here trying to imitate a voice and imitate a culture when there's actual people out there who can already do it themselves so they all quit y'all all quit. Even the Simpsons. The Simpsons have pulled every white person who was taking on a role of a person of color from their shows. Baby, the people, Simpson fans, or the people who, these people on Twitter going off. They so mad at the Simpsons. Now, the Simpsons ain't been shit in the last 10 years. The Simpsons ain't been this anyway. Who gives a fuck if Abu's voice is the voice of an Indian man? It, I don't give a damn about that. Oh, they mad, baby. They salty. The salty tears are coming out, baby. The salty tears are coming out. Where are my cups? I got a bottle to hold it for you, though. I got a bottle. Let me get some water. I'm thirsty. But the salty tears are coming out. Y'all motherfuckers be so mad about everything. And I'm talking about the racist white people. Y'all be so mad about everything. And the cooning ass black people. Let me clue them in there too. Y'all be bad about everything. Mm-hmm. 
Um, who else mad? I saw the Dixie Chicks. I love me some Dixie Chicks, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I love Lady Antebellum. I, as a group, I love country. I told y'all this before. I love country. Lady Antebellum changed their name, and now they're just gonna be called. Um, I think Lady. Hmm. They took out the antebellum because of this. It, it, it's ties to uh, the, the South and racism and slavery. Um, they are changing Dixie Chicks. Also removing the word Dixie. We all told you already before. Uh, the Dukes of Hazzard car. They already took the Confederate flag off of that. Um, YP. I saw one of my one of people who I thought was a friend. She. Um, I've actually don't ever see her speak on any issues at all. So she's been kind of neutral. Um, one of the white girls I know be kind of neutral I never seen her say or do anything racist um, but again now I'm thinking about it I've never seen her be supportive of or speak out or speak on any incident that had to do with racism now I'm thinking about it um, but she made a comment when they, she saw the Dixie Chicks was changing their name I forgot what this, the Dixie Chicks changed their name too I didn't really look at it that deeply she was like oh now we've gone too far Oh, wait a minute, because the Dixie Chicks changed their name. Now we've gone too far. Girl. Girl, bye. Unfollow. I didn't delete her. <laughs> so unfollow her. I had to take a break from her. You know, Facebook got that feature. Take a break. I had to take a break from her for a minute, but I haven't unfollowed her. Like I said, because she hasn't did anything specifically other than her silence. And, you know, sometimes it takes people a while to, to, to realize that they're sitting in silence and that they're part of the problem. So, um... I'm going to give it that, give it that for right now. So, yeah, a lot of things are changing. A lot of things are changing. They're trying to change the name of St. Louis, which I really don't want them to do. I'm telling y'all, I'm one of the people that don't want them to change the name of St. Louis. But I know how it's associated with the Louisiana Purchase in, in St. Louis, whatever. Are they going to change Louisiana? Are they going to change them that now, too? Um, but, yeah, they think about changing the name of St. Louis. But they will have to change all of the country. I think Rhode Island was supposed to be changing their name, too. A lot of things are changing. Things are changing. Things are changing, baby. That's all I can say. Um, I'm going to tell you, I know, with the, my Aunt Jemima sir, I went and bought me a bottle with her face on it just so I could have it as a memory. I don't want I don't want to lose all... I don't want to forget about things of the past. Um, and I'm a... I'm a I keep stuff. I'm a, I keep stuff. I just want to let y'all know that. I'm going to eat the syrup out of it. Because I like Aunt Jemima. Sir, I do. It tastes good to me. Kina like Mrs. Buttersworth better, but you know what I'm saying? Um, what is going on? Uh, <laughs> Hamilton. Racist ass play. Gonna be streaming. Y'all wanna see it. People love them some goddamn Hamilton. I told y'all I went to go see Hamilton back in St. Louis. Hamilton is all the characters, all the slave traders, all the racist ass presidents from our history. They're all being played by black characters. These motherfuckers have seen their ass off. But once I realized what the fuck was going on in the show, and then one of the characters who actually is part black because his mama was from the Bahamas, you know, he's one of the biggest races in the whole fucking show. Um, they're gonna stream it. So if y'all want to see that bullshit, go right ahead. I know y'all like, yeah, I, I didn't like Hamilton. I told y'all that. If y'all want to see my review on Hamilton, I, I got it on my channel. Look at my movies and theater reviews because I, I went to go see that and, and yeah. So, uh, the C-19 cases. Y'all know they opened up the world. Florida dumbasses right here. We hit a record number of 9,000 cases. I Sometimes I think these numbers are fudged. I do. I think the numbers are fudged. But, at the same time, or yet, since the button negates everything that comes before it, at the same dog on time, the shit's here. It's real. I know too many people that have died from it. I know too many, too many friends and family members who have family members die from it. The shit's real. I have too many family members that are nurses and, and, and medical staff that deal with this shit every day on a regular basis. The shit is here. So no matter how many numbers have been fudged, the shit's happening. But Florida has been uh, known to have ranked as one of the highest numbers nationwide with over 9,000 cases since we reopened. Which makes Disneyland or Disney World side they're going to delay their reopening they're going to try to reopen in july you know universal already reopened disney like nah bro nah we're gonna hold off on that they even pushed back mulan mulan was supposed to come out they was gonna go ahead and release it in the theater since the theaters open back up they say nah nah we ain't gonna be about that life 
We're not gonna be about that life. We're gonna cancel that shit, push it back. Some other new movie called Tenant. Tenant got pushed back as, as well, too. You know, they just reopened Hollywood to send them back into filming. What's this new wave? They already said a new wave was gonna come because they knew people was gonna be stupid. One, because people ain't listening. Um, I think England was supposed to shut down travel from the U.S. Because because of our government and how stupid they're being as far as their reaction to how they're handling the C-19. Yeah, I think that, I, if I'm not mistaken, they're supposed to be trying to close the borders. I don't know if it got passed through or not. Um, and Hamilton streaming. Voting. If man, y'all, get y'all motherfucking asses out there and vote. Take y'all masks, take y'all Lysol wipes, take all that shit with y'all and vote. Y'all know they trying to suppress the hell out of voters. I know voting ain't gonna stop no goddamn on bully, but voting will help uh, make some changes. We can get some of these little raggedy bitches out of office that ain't doing no good for us. Get out there and vote. They trying to suppress the fuck out of our votes. Down in Kentucky, there was a, a polling place that had 1,600 polling stations. Got dropped down to 200. Where they take them from? The black neighborhoods. That's what they did. They tried to suppress y'all motherfucking votes. Because black has the power right now. We have the power right now. We better use this shit to our benefit. Use it. We've always had it. We just ain't been using it. We starting to use it now. We starting to use it now. Um, Speaking of the C-19. Here in Florida. 19, 16 NBA basketball players have now been tested positive for the C-19. That's because these motherfuckers, like I said, ain't listening. They having parties and all kind of shit. Functions and get-togethers. They at the pool and everything. They doing all this stuff out here. Soon as the world opened back up, everybody was jam-packed again like it was Freak Dick. Soon, back at the beaches like it was Freak Nick. I got so many friends and family members who are out traveling again. They on the beaches and everything. Not me. My little cousin sent me a message the other day telling me she was going to come visit me soon. And she missed us. And I haven't responded yet, but I was thinking, I just saw you on the beach. I know you would celebrate with your family. Quarantine, 14 days at least before you bring your body this way. I need to tell her that. At least 14 days. Like I said, I let Kena sneak out. <laughs> but she went with some quarantine people and she went from our garage to their garage. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, what else we got going on? Tina Fey, back on uh, stuff being removed because of what's going on with the movement these days. Tina Fey from uh, 30 Rock, she's petitioning for this episode of 30 Rock. That somebody was shown in blackface. She's petitioning for that to be removed altogether. Um, let's see. Huey. Uh, back on movies. I'm, I'm all over the place. There's a new Pirates of the Caribbean movie coming out. I don't know when it's going to be released. It's going to be a standalone. It's not going to have anything to do with the original Pirates of the Caribbean series. I love me some Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is going to be a new standalone movie. It's not going to have anything to do with the original. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. Uh, The BET Awards. I told y'all about that. It's going to air on June 28th on BET. I was watching Sad Scale's channel. Sad Scale says that they're going to do virtual shows. All the shows are going to be from everybody's living room or wherever they're at on sound stages. Because everything is opening back up, I'm quite sure most of them are going to find a stage. Yeah, they probably open it back up at BET. Um, this is BT's 40th year being on the air for black entertainment television, even though it's no longer owned by a black person. Um, but still, you know, we, we still go to BT for a lot of our, our black TV shows. Um, I think I'm going to review it this year. I haven't watched a BT award show in, in I don't know how many years. I will watch the clips of it every once in a while, but I never watched the sad and watch the whole show. I think I'm going to go ahead and watch it and review it for you guys this time around y'all seem to like my crazy ass twisted thoughts <laughs> i'll be having i appreciate it i appreciate it um disney delayed mulan delayed splash mountain changing the simpsons um oh one thing with the c19 where there have been black Lives matter protests the c19 ain't spreading ain't spiking in those cities oh my boy he late too we all late and um that's because they out there fucking the mask and shit. They out there fucking mask just on the strength of fucking tear gas. Being tear gas. So they out there in mask and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then like I said again too. We don't go get tested. We don't go to the doctor like that. We don't. I just That's just the truth. Um, the biggest news out here is that the sands of the Sahara Desert are wafting its way over here to the Americas. 
Now, Mother Nature saying, okay, bitches, y'all didn't want to, y'all didn't want, y'all didn't want to listen to the COVID. Y'all didn't want to wear the, the mask then. Y'all gonna wear this mask now. I told y'all when I went to Phoenix, Arizona, I, I got caught in that fucking sandstorm. Yeah, that shit's serious. Anybody ever been over to the Middle East? Y'all have been near a sandstorm. That shit's serious out here. This wind and then, then them, them sand particles getting into your lungs. It could be kind of dangerous. They say it's not a big threat. I don't trust it. Let me tell y'all. I told y'all back when them fucking hornets came out, the murder hornets. They was messing with King Tut's tomb. And I know, you know, I may sound a little crazy right here. They was messing with King Tut's tomb. And then fucking the murder hornets came out. There's curses on them got those tombs. If, if y'all don't believe in curses, y'all don't supposed to fuck with the dead any damn way. Leave them fucking dead alone. They done found Queen Nefertiti's tomb now. And them motherfuckers fucking with that. Right around the time these fucking desert winds kicked up. That's all I'm saying. They fucking with Queen Nefertiti's tomb. Fucking Sahara desert winds kicked up. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. This has been PNTV, y'all. I'm almost at work. I'm like 15 minutes late. But I just saw somebody else that I work with just roll past me. Although he is speeding because he is all the way down the street. Did he make that light already? Oh, yeah. He already made that light. He going to get there at least three, five minutes before me the way he driving. Because I'm going to get hit by this red light. This has been PNTV, TV, Poetry's News, and Twisted Views. Please leave y'all thoughts and views on anything I said. I know I'm all over the place today. I know I was all over the place today. But... And there may have been some more significant things out there in the news, but this is what I want to talk about today. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy your weekend. I will see y'all um, Monday where I live tweet doing 90 Day Fiance the other day. Um, oh, BET Awards. I guess I'm a, I might live tweet doing the BET Awards as well. Uh, y'all see Lamar Rucker on Greenleaf? <laughs> he liked my tweet when I said that that's Jacob's baby because he know that's Jacob's baby too. <laughs> Lamar Rucker. So I'll be I will tweet doing the green leaf as well on Tuesday. Um and I will try to keep these videos rolling. Thank y'all for watching. Peace. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Holla y'all.